Hi, I'm Brad from Blue Cotton, and I love summer. Today, it is really hot outside, and the guys are just cooking in the back, printing your shirts, and getting them out the door. And so in the summer, I like to do really simple meals, really fresh meals. And so today we're having BLTs. And along with it, I wanted to have a really simple salad and also wanted to have some fresh tomatoes from our garden. So first, what I'm going to show you is a simple dressing you can make at home. Um, this is something that you could just get some greens, uh, any kind of lettuce uh, from the supermarket or farmer's market or your garden and just put this dressing on it. And that's all you'll need to do. And you can just eat. It's very, uh, very simple and, and tasty and tastes really fresh. And then I'm also going to show kind of a spin on a, on a tomato salad, uh, a traditional tomato mozzarella salad I'm going to do with some feta, and we'll, we'll do that later in the video. So here are my ingredients. I've got olive oil. Um, you can use canola oil, uh, but most people don't think that canola oil is all that healthy anymore. So I'm using extra virgin olive oil, and I'm using some distilled white vinegar, salt and pepper, and some grated Parmesan cheese. So if you're going to do it at home, you'll probably just want to make one serving. So you'll want to use a half a cup of the olive oil, a fourth cup of the vinegar, some salt and pepper, and some Parmesan cheese to taste. I'm going to be quadrupling the recipe because we're going to be feeding about 50 people here in, in about an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a, two cups of this. Okay. And then we'll do one cup of vinegar. Yours is going to look considerably smaller than this, but you'll see you've got the, the vinegar and the oil separating here, and that's fine. You'll just put it in a jar or something where you can shake it up. And then a healthy amount of Parmesan cheese, which you can add more later if you so desire. And then we're just going to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And I will take my lid, put it on. Give it a good shake, and then I like to put it in the refrigerator for a while. But you can see it has a nice, uh, nice look to it, kind of a just a nice little vinaigrette that you can put on a salad. And what I love about this is you don't have to put anything else on the salad. You can just put lettuce. If you want to put other things in it, you can, but it tastes great just with some fresh lettuce and some dressing. So we're going to put this in the fridge for an hour or so, and then we'll serve it and uh, dress the salad. All right, so we're going to do a spin on a tomato salad to go along with our summer theme. So I've got some tomatoes from the garden sliced up here. This is an heirloom tomato called a Cherokee purple. If you haven't checked out heirloom tomato, tomatoes, be sure to. You could probably get some at a local farmer's market, maybe even at your grocery store, depending on where you live. So I've sliced them up, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little salt on the tomatoes, because tomatoes taste great with salt. And then I'm going to put a little pepper. And traditionally, people don't put salt and pepper on this, and then they put like fresh mozzarella and like a balsamic vinegar and maybe some olive oil. Today, I'm going to just do a little bit different. I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of feta on this tray here. And then I'm going to take some of this salad dressing I commonly use here. It's a Newman's Own light balsamic vinaigrette. And I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the vinaigrette over the tomatoes. And a lot of times, I'll even add some basil to this, too. Uh, but I forgot to get basil. And then for our salad, I've had my salad dressing in the fridge for about an hour. And you can leave it in for days. Uh, you can make it at the beginning of the week and use it all week or even longer than that if you want to. So just make sure you shake it up then just pour some over. And then just toss that. And once you get that all kind of mixed in, it makes for a really nice light salad. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.